everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new so my original intro for this video somehow disappeared if you're a youtuber you know the struggle of that so i did want to quickly come on here and just use my phone to do a quick intro and let you guys know what's going to be in this video so this is just going to be a medical assisting slash medical care setting life hack video so if you are in clinical for any type of medical field job you can definitely use these and if you guys have any life hacks that i didn't include in this video that would come in handy in the medical field setting. Be sure to leave them in the comments down below so we can all see them. And let's just get started with the video. The first life hack is to help those of you who have trouble remembering the order you go in when it comes to blood draws. For this, you will need a safety pin, a key ring, and perler beads. The colors of perler beads you will need are gray, pink, lavender, green, yellow, red, and blue, which you will place on the safety pin in that order. My safety pin wasn't long enough, so I ended up having to cut the beads in half. Then you can add it to your badge reel by placing it on a keyring so you always have it with you as a reference. Now, for this one, it may just be me, but my shears are always falling out of my pocket, and you can either go out and buy special shears with clips like these ones to clip to your scrubs, or you can just use this next life hack. For this one, all you're going to need are your shears and an extra badge reel. Then you're simply going to attach the badge reel to the shears, and there you go. You have your own clippable shears. The next one comes in especially helpful when you are dealing with a messy incident, such as a code brown. This life hack requires two sets of gloves, and all you're going to do is double up with the gloves. Then, once the top pair of gloves are contaminated, you can take them off and will already be gloved underneath to save time. If you needed to, you could also trip a glove. Another hack that uses gloves is to use a black sharpie and write down a patient's vitals on them so you can properly chart them after and you don't have to second guess yourself. I find this hack to come in especially helpful for those patients that you have that are particularly chatty. So I have found that just keeping a sharpie on hand and writing it down on my gloves helps me in the long run. One of my favorite glove hacks though comes in handy if you are in need of a hair elastic and can't find one. All you need is a clean glove and a pair of scissors. All you have to do is cut the elastic end off the glove and then you can go ahead and use it as a hair elastic. And right here you can see that I have no issue perfectly holding a braid. And the last hack I have for you guys goes back to the messy situation, but this time for one that involves foul odors. For this, all you will need are a mask and some Vicks Vapor Rub. So to prevent yourself from smelling foul odors, go ahead and apply a thin layer of Vicks on the inside of a mask. And then when you put the mask on, you will smell the eucalyptus from the Vicks rather than any foul odors. I highly recommend doubling up with the masks similar to the glove situation. So those are just seven life hacks for you guys. I hope you guys liked this video and I figured some of these may come in handy for a bunch of you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to become part of the Alley Packa Squad. I upload two to three new videos a week and would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!